Okay, this uh, solar panel I just ordered came. Top solar, 60 watts. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got here. It's a little bit heavy. Wow. Okay. To give me this nice little bag. That's nice. Solar panels, get your connections. See, I have one of those little 250 watt solar chargers, and that's pretty much good enough, you know, for emergencies. But I was thinking, you know, what if something happened, the power went out for two or three days? Then what would I do? So that's why I wanted to get this. Okay. Got a meter here. Got your uh, plugins here. Okay, so these are the panels. These are the solar panels. It's pretty good quality. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's see what else we're getting here. Okay, the clips for the solar panel. And you get these uh, for charging your car battery. Only you're not going to get much of a charge out of this thing because it's like a trickle charger. You know, two or three watts. Get a cigarette lighter. Adapter and get all these uh, different attachments uh, adapters here. And then you get this. I think this is like a standard solar cell plugs or something like that. Instructions. Another adapter. Okay. Something back here. Oh. Yeah. Stand. to cut these cut that plastic thing okay so that's what you get oh get something else here oh the uh the cord Okay, you get two of these these uh, cables here, one for the 19 volts side, and the other one for the the 14.4 volts. So, <clears throat> for my 
little device here, wide thing. It's 15 volts. I didn't realize it was 15. I think most of them are higher than that, 18 or 19 or something. So I'm gonna to have to use the 14.4 volts and make that work. Or use the 19 and get a regulator, but don't really want to do that. So the smallest one should fit. Okay, that's the one I need to use. So, we gotta take it outside. But I noticed, <clears throat> it says, don't covering. So, we know this isn't made in America, it must be made in China. It also says, do not shelter the panel while using. So I guess they mean don't cover it. Of course you won't cover it or it won't work. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to take it outside and we'll uh, see what it puts out. Okay, first thing I want to see, since I don't have any sun yet, is Will this thing put off anything without direct sunlight? So let's check it. And it doesn't. No, nothing. It won't pull off anything if it doesn't have sunlight. Okay, so that's good to know. Because the thing is, I have these little ones that I have on some lights here. And they do, they do absorb some of this uh, light out here to power that, uh, to charge it up. So. For some reason, this big one won't. Okay, I'll wait for some sun. And we'll check, check the sunlight. Okay, I just noticed a little problem. You know, for my 15 volt uh, solar charger, I need to use this 14.4. And this adapter does not fit on it. It only fits on the cable for the 19 volts. So I don't know if I dare plug the 19 volts into this 15 volt uh, generator there. I mean, maybe it won't put out a full 19, maybe it only put out 18 or 17, but it's still going over 15. So I'm gonna to have to uh, I'm gonna to have to check with the company that makes that and find out if I can plug it in, if it's gonna hurt it or not. Okay, I got this in the sun. It's not a lot of sun. It's just some clouds up there. Well, let's check it. Okay, this is the 19 volt output. It's showing 21.1, so it's a little over. Okay, so this is the 14.4. Output. So now we got some clouds losing our sun. It gets 14.3, 14.4 back and forth there. 
So that's four voltage. And the sun is behind the cloud. So that's pretty good. Okay, well, test something else out later. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if it'll charge up this uh, this uh, shaver here. Can't see it too good, but it's at 78 percent. So I'll come back later and see, make sure it's really charging. Oh, it's at 79 now. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see what it's at. 90. Okay, in 10 minutes, from 78 to 90. So this thing's charging. So that's good. I, at least I know that works. Okay, at least I know this thing works. <laughs> I didn't try the USB C. But that's probably okay. The USB works. The other two work. Only problem is that 19 volts is 21 volts. I'll need a regulator if I'm going to use that. And I'm going to have to get an adapter for that 14.4. So I can plug it into my solar charger. Okay, so I tested out the 19 volts, <clears throat> which came out to 21. So, you know, I think I'm going to need a regulator if I want to use that for anything. <clears throat> Even if you have an 18 volt generator to plug into it, I don't know if it could handle 21 volts. I think 18 could handle 19, but I think that's about it. Unless I'm wrong, but... And I tested the USB and that works. <clears throat> the USB-C, I'm sure it works. I didn't plug my phone into it because with this 19 being 21, I was a little bit worried. What if this is off and I wreck my phone? So. I'm going to find something to plug in so I can actually check it before I plug my phone into that thing. And the 14.4, that worked fine, no problems. Uh, that was good. I just have to get an adapter so I can use it with this uh, generator. It says here that 19 volt one is 3 amps. The 14.4 volt output is 4 four amps so that's pretty good if, if I can charge <clears throat> my little generator here at uh, four amps because the charger that comes with it in the wall is only two so it should charge a lot faster and these things here even when the cloud went over the Sun it still charged with no problem so that's a good thing so, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I I think it's better if the 19 really was 19, but but not 21. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just you're going to need something to reduce it. And it folds up, you know, small. I was going to get a bigger one, but I figured, you know... I'm just having this for emergencies. I mean, why take up more space? See, and then the generator, you know, it's, it's just a little bit bigger than that generator. It's like a piece of paper, something like that. Yeah, it's about the size of a piece of paper. 
I think this is six pounds. So this is probably seven maybe. And with all this other junk, you know, it might come to nine or something like that. But that, there you go. If, uh, if you're interested in this top solar, it seems to be pretty good quality.